Horticulture and beekeeping are sources of income that are considered environmentally friendly, particularly in rural communities that fringe protected areas. Ringtail is a small village along the Hummingbird Highway, about a mile and a half away from St. Herman's Blue Hole National Park. On the roadside is Red Rose Farm. The initial plants started as a little hobby back when COVID began. It started with a few plants here and there. We saw, you know what, these were some cute plants to place in our house. First, we started with the orchid tree, which is at the front. It is purple and it's not common, especially from where I'm from, which is Corazal. It was a first time for me. We have set different plants for borderline. You know, we don't Lila Costa's love of exotic plants and gardening so took root last year at the outset of the COVID-19 pandemic. During the lockdown, she concentrated her efforts on growing a variety of flowering and non-flowering plants and started a small nursery called Red Rose Gardens. Today, that initiative is being supported by the Belize Audubon Society and the Protected Areas Conservation Trust as a form of alternative livelihood that does not threaten the natural environment surrounding the nearby cave system. It's part of a three-pronged approach being employed by both organizations. One looks at financial sustainability for protected areas. Uh, the second result looks at improving our relationship, enhancing the awareness of communities, buffering the protected areas that are benefiting under this project, and also strengthening and improving our biodiversity research and monitoring program. In Maya Mopan, residents have taken up apiculture. Together, they manage several colonies of bees from which they are producing honey on a commercial scale. It is 100% pure honey. It is natural, coming from the rainforest where we live. And I'm the leader of our group for now. And I always tell my group, every day I'm getting closer to the bearing ground. That's, that's reality. So we need young people to continue this. So we have young people with us. We have women with us in beekeeping. It's a, it's a business where everybody is involved, from children to grandparents. Everybody is involved. Because it, in, in beekeeping, when you're doing honey, there is a process from the apiary to the packaging of, of honey. These are just two examples of sustainable activities that provide residents with jobs that are described as green. As Ringtail buffers St. Herman's, Maya Mopan fringes the Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Preserve. A lot of the impacts that we see um, affecting Belize's green spaces, Belize's uh, natural resources, come as a result of uh, people simply finding a way to survive, and, and that usually involves agriculture. And, um, uh, because of the perhaps the lack of availability of resources or uh, uh, finding um, uh, new ideas that might um, bring them some sort of benefit, some sort of profit, usually that tends to lead to uh, incursions within protected areas, uh, illegal activities that uh, would be prohibited within those protected areas. As part of a million dollar undertaken by Bass and Pact, a memorandum of agreement was signed this morning with several individuals from Armenia, Ringtail, and Maya Mopan to provide financial assistance via grants to support these alternative livelihoods. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.